Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, colleagues, and uh, good afternoon to our viewers, wherever you are catching us from. We have um, uh, an urgent matter that we want to address this afternoon. Uh, it is concerning uh, a miscarriage of uh, justice uh, concerning the petition that uh, are being undertaken in Petauke over the Lusangazi just ended by elections. I'm sure the Zambian people remember that uh, we had as Patriotic Front a candidate in the name of Patrick Banda that the UPND through the political advisor to the president, Mr. Levin Goma, used to disfranchise our candidate by having him arrested at the polling station. The day at the nomination center, the day that he was going to file in his nomination. And I happened to have been the one leading the delegation of central committee members to escort that candidate. That illegality and injustice was presented to the local government tribunal through a petition against the nominations. A tribunal led by the Lusaka resident magistrate, Mr. Ch Chiwili, was convened. We had, of course, some concerns looking at the composition of that tribunal, but you still gave it a benefit of doubt. The decision that was made out of uh, that tribunal did not agree with it. It didn't make sense. Actually, the court were stripping themselves of the powers by making a ruling that a matter that is already before court, the police can still go and rearrest somebody or can go and arrest somebody when in fact the matter is already in court. It was shocking, but we know that now the judiciary has been invaded. What is of concern now is that we have since proceeded to petition the election in Lusangazi, and there are two petitions going on there. The miscarriage of justice emanates from the fact that uh, the same tribunal <coughs> has been reconstituted to go and hear the petition against the election even when they know that they had already sat to consider the facts which facts may be recast in the petition against the election how can you have the same court that already came up with a verdict on the issues that were raised by patriotic front candidate as well as mr patrick banda sit again in petaok and expect them to come up with a just decision and vacate their own decision that are already made it is basically meant to miscarry to have justice miscarried it is an abortion of justice we call upon the Chief Justice. Your office every day is raising concerns from the citizens. How can we have the same tribunal seat in, in Petauke to hear a petition against an election for which they had the opportunity to hear in terms of the petition against a nomination? We don't expect that that uh, 
tribunal will be objective. It is against the principles of the judicial system, the principles of justice. It is against many ethical issues that we can talk about in terms of, you know, uh, adjudicating on matters of such nature. We expected a different tribunal. But we are also aware, zooming from where we are standing, that uh, there was a meeting up to last yesterday morning to which some judicial officers, including some police officers from Petauke, that met here together with a political advisor to the president, giving instructions in terms of what they expect to happen in Petauke. We want to warn those major streets, the major street, the resident major street, and those civil servants, one from NPA, the other from legal aid. If you proceed to hear that petition without declaring conflict of interest, we are going to proceed to go and report at JCC. And even if we don't get justice from JCC, there is always time for people to account for their misdemeanor. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but time is ticking and 2026 is coming. And Ms. Aka in the HRM has been a good teacher to us that you can actually go and dig matters even of 10 years ago and follow them through. So whatever is happening, we are recording. What is going to happen in Petauke over the petition? First of all, the miscarriage of justice started with the fact that uh, this is uh, almost uh, uh, towards the end of the days provided in the constitution for which a petition is supposed to be heard. We, the, the petition was lodged in on the 11th of um, November, and it is expected that those petitions should be heard within 30 days. From 11th November up to today, we are remaining only with eight days before the close of the time. So why was the tribunal delaying? They want to make sure that the time remaining for all these issues we're raising to be raised, to be very short, so that I can say, like they have said over Kwacha, over Kabushi, that we're out of time, therefore, let's just proceed without hearing us properly. We are calling on the judiciary, especially the Chief Justice. Can you show your integrity on this matter? Disband that tribunal and set a fresh tribunal that will hear that matter. Thank you very much.